Surveys show that 95% of men and around 72% of women have masturbated in their life, but with rumors that it's unhealthy, can cause blindness, and even infertility, can masturbation be good for you? Feeling yourself isn't just for single people. 70% of men and 40% of women in relationships reported masturbating within the four weeks leading up to a recent survey. After all, it feels good. Not only is dopamine released, which helps control the brain's reward and pleasure centers, reducing feelings of stress, but other endorphins released during an orgasm can decrease your perception of pain. For women, polishing the pearl can reduce menstrual cramping. And of course, with the help of the hormone prolactin, which is linked to sleep, you're likely to feel exhausted and catch some much needed Z's. Feel like you're coming down with the cold? One study found that in males, components of the immune system are activated during masturbation, increasing the number of white blood cells in the bloodstream. Solo sessions might also help men reduce cancer, with high ejaculation frequency correlating with a decreased risk of total prostate cancer. Though it's unclear why, researchers hypothesized that increased ejaculation means potential carcinogenic secretions in the prostate are excreted more regularly, decreasing their negative impact on the body. But why have humans and animals evolved to masturbate if it's seemingly a waste of energy or semen in men? Well, it turns out that self-love can actually improve the quality of sperm. A study showed that recent male masturbation reduced the number of sperm inseminated at the next copulation, but not the number retained by the female. From this, it was concluded that masturbation is a male strategy to improve the fitness of their sperm, as younger sperm have a higher likelihood of insemination. Not only that, but masturbation can improve your sexual performance. Both women and men have pelvic floor muscles that stretch from your pubic bone to your tailbone. As we age, these muscles weaken, causing sexual dysfunction in women and erectile dysfunction in men. But stroking the penis or clitoris can activate the bubble cavernosis reflex, resulting in pelvic floor muscles contracting. It's essentially a workout for your sex muscles. Nitric oxide levels also diminish with age and can contribute to a decreased sex drive, but masturbation can help maintain it in your blood throughout your life. But while masturbating does have physiological benefits, it's important to mix up your techniques. Using the same way to get off every time can make you sexually unresponsive to other types of stimulation. This could lead to decreased sexual arousal or performance when it comes time to do the deed with a real-life partner. So make sure you mix it up. At the end of the day, masturbation is a safe and healthy activity, so put on some music, light those candles, and have yourself a good night. And if you truly love science, we have a new t-shirt on sale for one more week. But unlike most trends, science is logical and never ends, and these science t-shirts will never go out of style. Seriously, science never goes out of style. Click on the screen or use the link in the description to get one. Don't forget to share this video on Facebook and Twitter, and subscribe for more weekly science videos.